Mardi Gras' arrival to Port Canaveral isn't just about Carnival Cruise Line's newest and largest ship, or the first cruise ship with a roller coaster. It marks the arrival of the first cruise ship in North America to be powered by liquefied natural gas, or LNG. All told, Carnival Corporation will be adding nine of these Excel-class ships to its fleet across North America and Europe as part of our eco-friendly green cruising initiative. Much work has been done to prepare for this day and this ship. Carnival has worked closely with the Meyer Turku Shipyard in Finland, its energy and technology partner Shell, the team at Port Canaveral, and a host of other parties. But what exactly is LNG and why is this a game changer? In its liquefied state, LNG is odorless, colorless, more environmentally friendly, and competitively priced compared to other fuels. It's considered to be on the forefront of marine industry fuel technology, and it maintains its liquefied nature by being refrigerated at a very cold temperature, minus 259 degrees Fahrenheit. It's important to remember, though, that passenger cruise ships generate a fraction of the overall emissions of the transportation sector. Nevertheless, every industry has a role to play in the worldwide effort to reduce emissions and their impact on global climate and public health. Among the cleanest fuels in the world, LNG significantly reduces emissions with cleaner exhaust. With the retirement of nearly 20 older vessels, the introduction of new, more efficient ships, and investments in other technologies and initiatives, we intend to continue to build on our pledge and continue to reduce emissions and exceed our goals. So how does LNG work exactly? Just like other forms of fuel, LNG is converted into mechanical and electrical energy by engines and generators used to propel the ship. LNG not only powers Mardi Gras propulsion system utilizing azipods, it's used for all shipboard systems, from elevators, lighting, and computers, to galley equipment, and of course, Bolt, the first roller coaster at sea. There are currently a limited number of options worldwide to refuel an LNG ship, so working with our home port partners is critical. The transition to LNG necessitated a host of new technologies and processes, both on board and on shore. New engine designs, fuel containment systems, and the accompanying new engine parts required countless hours of training for our shipboard officers and engineers. Port Canaveral also constructed a new terminal to accommodate the LNG refueling process, as well as acquired purpose-built equipment, like a new fireboat to support the LNG provider's tug and fueling barge, and expanded its firefighting training facility. Although Mardi Gras will be refueled every week, she is actually designed to sail for up to 14 days before having to refuel again. To fill Mardi Gras' three massive custom-built LNG tanks, a special fueling barge will meet up with the Mardi Gras in Port Canaveral to provide the ship with enough fuel for her week-long Caribbean and Bahaman itineraries. The refueling process is conducted with the highest procedures for safety and environmental protection. All of us know that cruising is anchored to the enjoyment of fresh air, clean, pristine water, and beautiful destinations. At Carnival, we will continue to invest in technologies and systems to reduce energy consumption and our environmental footprint as part of a company-wide commitment to preserving and protecting our water, air, and land resources. LNG is not the solution for all ships. It's still not readily available at all ports around the world. But it is an important step in our commitment to clean technology and meeting our goals for emission reductions. And it's an important new technology to propel our new class of Excel ships and our company into greater success and a stronger partnership with our ports and destinations. That's why we're proud to bring Mardi Gras to North America. So whether you're enjoying a show, relaxing in your stateroom, or sipping a pina colada poolside, remember, it's LNG that powers the fun.